nice to have you with us in northern Arizona. You know, it is chilly up here. I'm not kidding you. It is going to get to 20 tonight, I think. So there's something that happens when it gets really cold besides us needing to put on our mufflers, and that is that little creatures who normally live outside decide they want to live with us because it's warm. To tell us about that today, Jeff Bailey of Truly Nolan in Prescott. Nice to have you with us, Jeff. Thank you. Nice to be here. Okay, so it gets cold outside, and the little guys, what do they do? Uh, well, like who? I should say well, much like you, they like to get warm. They like yeah. to come inside. So there's a lot of little, you know, that's, they want to get out of the cold, get into your house. Um, they're, they're used to living close proximities to us. So Yeah, and unfortunately, they're, they're ones that cause us more trouble, like rats and mice. I mm -hmm. mean, rabbits generally don't come in. No. Gophers generally don't come in. You know, some foxes, things like that we don't usually see. No, you don't have to worry about those. These yeah. guys, they actually kind of rely on us for food. So they live, like I said, close proximity to us they're they're right there I mean they're up, there's um you know they're coming in your your crawl spaces your attics things like that places that get warm so yes interesting I don't blame them I really don't but it's um, unfortunately there's reasons why we don't want them inside how many let's say rats now this is a domestic rat you've, mm -hmm. you've brought Jerry over yes. to show us yes. but does he look similar to the rats there's Jerry put your face up and say there we go say he, hi Jerry he would be similar to like what a pack a rat is up here uh -huh. so we see a lot of these type of rats because they are about the same size they're mm -hmm. pretty large yeah. usually yes okay and uh, any and a lot of them in the US a lot of rats. I, I've, I've, I was told there's one per every person Wow so. okay and I'm like recent stats I 300, 300, million, 300 million, something like that. Yes. Okay, that's absolutely that's a, lot a lot of, of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do we not want these little creatures in our house? Because they're furry. Now, the domestic ones, again, are pets, you know, but right. in the house are problem, mice and rats. Well, there's a lot of damage they do. They like to chew. So one of the things is wiring. So a lot of, a lot of I think it's 7% of house fires are actually caused by these guys chewing up wires. Okay, and this is something I don't get, Jeff, but they love to eat the insulation off mm -hmm. of the wire, that black plastic. They like to eat plastic. Yes. I find that just so amazing, but um, we had this problem that you're talking about. We didn't realize that we had rats under our house in the mm -hmm. crawl space, and by the time we figured it all out and figured the damage that they were doing, they had stripped all of our wiring, and we had to have it all replaced. And my husband was down there, and he said there was this rat at it was it was just like a mummy mm -hmm. and then he realized they had actually accidentally touched the wires after they're eating their plastic and this little guy got electrocuted yes but once they bear those wires that's when wires that's when uh, it, fires that's can start. when you can start yes wow so we see that we, a lot do you really mm -hmm. Now, mice don't really do that kind of thing so much, do um, they? Not as much as rats. They're the they're okay. same thing, though. They're always chewing. Yeah. They're always chewing and eating is basically what these, what these guys do. So. They're getting your food supply under there. Now, the, another problem, I guess, is, is they're kind of dirty. I mean, as cute as they may be, and they are cute. Even, mm -hmm. even I think even rats are quite charming, you know. Come on, Jerry. Say hi. Let's get a close-up. He's close going to be shy. He's, he decides it's bath time. Hi, Jerry. Anyway, they're, they're very darling. Mm -hmm. However, they're also wild ones have diseases yeah they carry a lot of diseases um you know the bubonic plague things like that because of these guys um they come in our houses through sewers and things like that too so that's part of the reason but uh one thing about rats is they do they do poop a lot yeah. so and they constantly urine and it's just uh -huh. ongoing so it's things like that that you know yeah. they, they get into our food supply they get into things like that and it does cause sickness and disease so I guess the bottom line is that we do not want them to come in no. during the winter to bother us so how do we how do we protect our homes from um, these little creatures not this one Jerry's a good boy but well the first thing you do is um, you don't want to leave anything on the outside of your house you don't need debris like like lawn clippings or wood um, make sure your garbage cans are secured because a lot of times you'll see the garbage cans open garbage hanging out that's something you don't want to do because that even though they can't see very good they have very good sense of smell so it's like javelinas and of course the javelinas same, are the ones who are knocking ours same off thing, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah so, so um, I mean, they knock it over and then I guess the rats come in the rats and, will yeah. come in javelinas will yeah <laughs> and uh, also I, I see a lot of people that you know have their dog food in their garage and they'll have it in the bags that's one thing you don't want to do. Put it in, in a sealable container. Even though they can chew through it, they won't smell it. 
So, so uh, they won't come in as readily. Yes. This is an interesting thing. What kinds of things can rats chew through? Um, rats can chew through. I was through a cinder block. They can chew through metal. They can they can chew through a PVC pipe. So they can come up through plumbing and chew through the pipe. Um, so. That is so unbelievable to me. I mean, cinder block, that stuff is pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're very little sharp teeth. And then mice are so teeny teeny, they can get through. How, how large of a hole does it take for a mouse to get through, a, a mouse can get through a hole the size of a dime. This guy right here can get through a hole the size of a quarter. What do they do? Make their bones into jelly? It's just, they're flexible, so they can go right through. They just like kind of, like Houdini, they just disjoint a shoulder or whatever, Something come there. through and then put themselves back together. Okay, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So again, you brought some things to kind of show us things that we need to do to, to seal every single little spot in both attics, I'm taking it, yeah. and, uh, and basements, crawl spaces. Crawl spaces. One of the things in crawl spaces, you know how your pipes come up through? There's little, there's little gaps around there. Those are areas where they get in. We see that a lot. And some of the material that we use, yeah, they can chew through this, but this hurts their teeth. So this is like steel. Well, this is something you can get maybe a local hardware store, same type of thing. But you, what you would do is just stuff this in the hole, and they won't chew through this then. Interesting. What, what is this exactly? It That's looks just like a copper a, mesh. It's like it, comes, a, it comes in a roll. It's fairly kind of pretty. You could put it on your tree too, like your Christmas tree. Wow! So they don't like it. It, it hurts their teeth. It hurts so their teeth, that's yeah. good. And and this is something you can wad up and just stick in every right. little teeny hole. You know, like on the inside of your house too, where your pipes are coming out. Put uh -huh. it around. Put it around there as well. Because okay. I see that a lot, especially with mice. And this time of year, they're coming up through the pipe areas. Oh yeah, and the again, houses, they're so, so dirty, and then we don't like the diseases. Now, this is something I guess you you put this mesh over mm -hmm. like larger places. Yeah, you would let's say when you inspect your house, you're going to look for like the, you know small little areas the size of a dime or a quarter, but you're going to look for areas in the house that. And what, what we basically do is with, with a staple gun, we would staple this to this area, and then they wouldn't chew through this and would stop them from getting in. So there's different things. Ah. You can fold it and stick it in areas, just different things you can do with it. But this okay. is generally what we use the most. Because most of your holes are large enough that you can do yes. that. These are for just like, well, and, and I guess, you know, you've got to drive. If they're already in your place, you have to get them out. Yes. How do we do that? Trapping is a main thing. We don't use mm -hmm. any poisons or anything like that. The last thing you want is one of these guys in a wall. For, you know, they go in there and yeah. die like decon, something like that. So, so, so you've got uh, traps of mm -hmm. different kinds here. Yeah, we've got these are these are basically put bait in them, and then he'll come inside there, and then this trap here, we actually place that inside this, and set it, and they'll come in there. So a lot of times, okay. you know, the custom, you know, people don't want to see a dead rat like the old-fashioned yeah. trap that we have there. You're going to yeah. see the rat in here. Here you won't see it. We open it up, take it out, remove it, put the trap back in. So. It's just unfortunately a cruel fact of life and that kind of thing. Well, and I want to say one more time about poisons. Don't use poisons. Uh, people have, uh, dogs love decon. If they can get it, and it will kill them too. Yeah. So very sad. Uh, one last thing I did want to ask you. Vehicles also are at uh, risk, I guess. Yeah, so rats. try to Not keep them in your garage and then Keep it in the garage. garage um, there's, a, there's, yeah. there's a light you can buy that kind of helps. Um, keep it, move the vehicle around right. but really not you a whole questions lot. truly no one knows it yes Jeff Bailey right. thanks for Thank joining you. us Appreciate today it. thanks for the time